how to how to move um, from one layer of the offense to the next. Okay, the, the theme of, of this next section is to me it's building the next action in the player's mind. Okay, I have a progression that. Um, I'm going to take the players through to help them with their decision making. Um, and I'm going to start at the most fundamental part of the reader react. I'm going to start very simple. I'm going to show you how I build this. Um, now, this isn't the only way. There's uh, as many coaches as there are in here, there's probably that many ways that we could link these actions together, okay? But uh, a lot of the teams that I, that I wind up working with, the players say they have a good basketball IQ, but they really don't know what the next best action should be if something fails. So, uh, most of these are drills that I have, uh, that I've used with uh, uh, teams back in the States. All right, and I probably will not get through all of them. Uh, okay, so the first one that I start with, the most simple, is our first layer, which is just to pass. We basket cut, get here. We fill the empty spot. Whoever's here fills out to the to whatever spot is empty. Go ahead, show them. Wow. Okay, hold up. Excellent. Good. Okay. Wow. Great. I don't know who gave me this thing. This is I'm pumped now. I'm gonna have to teach that. Okay. Well, the uh, there's a lot of skills that I'm. I'm uh, Skipping over. We were talking about it in the last hour. Just the ability to uh, to pass, to catch on the move, uh, footwork, uh, where do you hold the ball, how do you get tough with the ball. Yeah, I'm skipping a lot of stuff, okay? Uh, but that's not what this is about. You'll still have to teach those fundamentals. What I want next is, I want to start building what I think would be the next best action. And for me, it is, you pass, go ahead, pass, cut. You didn't get the ball, but I now want him to know that it's okay by me to post up. And this is what posting up is. And here's how I want to drill it. You're going to feed him, go ahead. You have to cut on either side, go ahead. We call that a Laker cut. Go ahead, fill, or oh, that's fine, you can fill. Okay, whether you fill or you fill. Um, don't hit the cutter. After the cutter goes by, you can throw it to anyone you want and then go fill out to an open spot. Okay, go ahead. Hit anybody you want and go out to an open spot. And I tell the kids that throwing the ball to anybody, I call it fanning. Fan the ball, which means that you can throw it to anyone. You have to throw it back to here. So, I would like for you guys to pass and cut, post up once, I don't care which side, I don't care where in the post, and we'll be finished when all five players have posted up once. Now, if you've already posted up, don't post up again, okay? Once you post it up once, just cut, fill it out, keep going. You guys have to keep up with it. We'll know when you're finished, uh, the fifth guy in here will hit the cutter for a dunk. We'll all cheer. Okay. So, coaches, I know this is subtle, but I'm trying to turn the offense over to them. This is my first stage. This is the first place where I'm using this kind of language. Like, look, now... It's yours. You just take care of it. I need five post-ups on the fifth one. Score. Go. Okay? Go ahead. 
Very good. For these guys, probably not a problem. So youth players, it's the first place where they learn that, ooh, this is not a set play. You mean I could pass it either way? You mean I could post up anywhere? That's right. Little by little. Uh, 
I do advanced passes, all kinds of passes, speed of the coast, that kind of thing. All right, now, I'm going to shift gears to something we, we've already done. We've got six guys. This is perfect. You three over here get one ball. You three here, this is fine. Uh, come into the post. No, stop. I see. No, go to the head. Same thing over here. You guys have got to get a post, a wing, and someone up the top up there. Okay? Uh, Uh, the first one, the first one that I want to start the ball rolling, the ball rolling, is the most basic Laker cut drill, right? So we're going to pass, we're going to feed this, you're going to give him a bounce pass, he's going to score, you're going to fill, okay? And whoever shoots the layup becomes the post, whoever's in the post goes there, you'll already be there. Show me one time, go. Oh, oh, I don't have to score. Okay? So he'll score. Not bad. Bad instructions. Good, good deal. Kick it out. Yeah, kick it in the ring. You post up. Go. 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 Yeah, keep going. Now, I have them both scoring on the same goal. Okay? And as soon as I see a little bit of danger, like right here, did you see that? Stop, freeze. Did you see this? You know, why would I do that? Why not move three down there? I probably will, but many times I only have one court. This is a great chance to talk about not charging weak side defense, right? So when you're making this Laker, when you're making this Laker cut, if you see a teammate in here, you got to You've got to catch this in a dynamic jump stop and come to a stop. I don't want any injury in a game. I don't want to charge. So you could be doing this intentionally, all right, to teach you players when do you go on up for the layup and when do you come under control, okay? All right, so watch out for each other, okay? Go. Yeah, good. Very good. Okay, hold on. So I think coaches have got that. That's the, like the basic way of drill, right? But the second drill that I do, same, without moving, without uh, any kind of setup, is you're going to feed the post. Go ahead, come on, feed the post. Choose your cut, which way you want. You're going to fake the pass, and you're going to make your move in the opposite direction. That's right. So we've got a score opposite. Score opposite the Laker cut, okay? Little teaching point here, okay? You've chin the ball, you've got three point contact, right, against your chest, right? When the cutter goes, just show him a little ball. Yeah, no, not too much. I'll knock me, I'll knock this down. Just, just, yeah, keep, keep three point contact. Just show him a little, lean this way. Just lean to Yeah. If I do this, so, coaches, you can stand behind them and do it by feel. Okay? Like this. Feel me. You feel this? When you feel that, yeah. When you feel me shift, help on it, that's when you get it. Is that good? And we rotate the same one. Go. Okay, hold on. We've got, since half of the coaches are here, I don't want this group to come down here. Do the same thing. Yeah, do it on this side. On this side of here. Or this, these coaches. I want to stay on one half court the whole time. But many times, uh, we don't have a full court. We have one goal, and we've got to manage 12 players on it. That's, that's what you see how I do it. Um, so the message that I'm trying to send here is, look, uh, when you feed the post, we're going to give our teammate a chance to score, but we're going to, 
if, if they're not open, I'm going to use that as a chance to make my move, okay? And it's the first place I start teaching everybody uh, the drop step move and which way to go. Now, it is possible, just a side note here, extra drill to put in here. You know how you've been cutting wide with space, which is good, right? This time, don't cut with space. Walk through this. Now, I'm an old guy. Be careful. Okay? Come on. Pass, pass. I will pass through. Cut. Come straight. And just clip me. Just clip me. Like, oops. Sorry. Don't stop. Just clip me. And I want you to make your move right off. We call it clipping. Okay? It's an accident. Okay? It's an accident. You ready? Clip me. Just clip me. Okay? It's just a little. Don't throw your arm out. Okay? Just oops. Oops. <laughs> oops. Sorry. Okay, and the post goes right off. All right? So it's an easy call for you in the game. If you see that, you can say clip, clip. Now, instead of cutting the space, you clip. Okay? Just a thought. Uh, that was enough. I'm going to do it. Enjoy. Oh, the next one is in this progression is you're going to shoot the three. Okay, so we don't have everybody to fan the ball to, but I want this player, I want to send a message that if the defense guards all of this, collapses in here, and guards all of this, then we're going to go back outside for a three-point shot. Okay? So, feed the post, Laker cut, take that three-point shot. Go, guys. Take that shot, and let's rotate. Alright, that's pretty obvious. 
So right off of the DVD, right? Okay. Okay, so my next my next action here is just like pass and cut. Remember when we were cutting, what was the next thing that you could do? Post up. So we're going to turn this cut into a post up. You're not going to hit him. You're going to dribble at him, sit him in the post. Come on. You're going to come right here and you're going to leg whip. Oh, very good. Very good. You're just going to leg whip here. And uh, for those who don't think they know what a leg whip is, tell them. Here's the simplest way I learned to do it. Tell them to, to make a spin dribble and stop halfway. Okay? Like this. Here, spin dribble. That's a leg whip. So if you do that without the ball, right? I do that without the ball, it's... So I don't have to say reverse pivot, front pivot, but I just think spin dribble and stop it halfway, okay? And that's your post up, okay? We're going to then, you're going to feed him, make a leg or cut, and here's the deal. Here's the deal. Now, we've already been over this, right? So, I'm going to allow you to either hit the cutter, score opposite, or hit you for the three-point shot. So your options, okay? All right, go ahead and start it all over. Shine your shoes move. Okay. All right. Okay. 
And I want you to drive baseline. So, layer five, you must move to the head of the key. Go. Move. Come on, try. You must feel behind him, okay? So, this guy's choice he has three things. You can shoot the layup, reverse layup, jump stop, I don't know, dunk it. Okay, dunk it. Uh, you can hit him for a shot, or you can play here, spin, dribble, throw back, shoot three. Your choice. And then we rotate. Is that good? Okay, so dribble at, drive baseline. Dribble at, cross step, drive baseline. Very good, very good. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just trying to build a file in their mind. What is next? What's next? Very good. He's already on the other side. That's good. Now drive by swing. Drive by swing. Because that's next. You're ahead of me. I'm next. Oh, my bad. Alright, hold up second. Right there. Hold up right there. Freeze. So you guys watch this group. So you see where that is at? You did this a moment ago, right? So instead of driving baseline, yeah, I want you to drive the middle. Now, and go ahead, yes. That circle movement, layer four. He's got to get in there. And he steps to the short corner, which is about halfway between three, four, line right here. Back to the baseline right here. Catch, catch his bounce pass. Step through. Flash. Okay. And it's going to be his choice. Kick it. Bounce pass. Dish it. Or... Okay. Uh, now, while we're here, let's work on a fundamental, really good ball handling fundamental. Let's dribble at him. Now, you're going to go back to the middle, right? There's a crossover. You just did a crossover. Show me what else you got. What else you got? What else you got? Oh, between the legs. Great. Got another one? Come here. Show me that. Oh, this is playground, man. What else you got? Oh, behind the back. Hey, no. To the middle. To the middle. Come on back, come on back. You got any other? You got any others? You dribble over here, you're going to come back this way. You got any other kind of move? Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to know. You've got, hey, three moves, that's pretty good. Okay? But you know, players, you know that in, in the offseason when they're having fun and they're doing all this stuff and, and in and out and all that stuff, I want them to know when is a good time to do it. But I got no problem with it. This is a great time to go between your legs. To dribble over there and then to go between your legs and drive the middle, man, this is a great time to do it, okay? So, you guys ready? We're gonna drive the middle, go. Oh yeah, nice, very nice. Short corner, yeah, more short corner. Keep going while I'm talking. Keep going while I'm talking. That's right. Correct him. Correct him. Correct him. Correct him. Good job. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, hold up. Uh, you know, I can usually tell fast a team is going to acquire these skills and move along in the rear net by how susceptible they are to being corrected by each other, not by me, because I can't see her. But how, how susceptible are you to one of your teammates saying, no, 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 you're supposed to go that way. Okay, without hurting them, without bruising your relationship with them, okay? And by the way, to me, a stage of development in re-react, a, a, 
a stage that you can almost check off when you see it happen is there's two things. Are they, do they get comfortable with this? Now, I'm not talking about mastering. I'm not talking about mastering, like you saw in the game clips up there. Are they comfortable? They know the language. And number two, can they self correct? Without me saying, no, 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 that was wrong. Do they know and can they self-correct? When you get to that stage, and it's, it's not the first stage you get to, then you're, you're kind of ready. You're getting ready now to start uh, heading towards mastery. Okay, where it really gets decisive and aggressive. Well, look for that stage first. Encourage them. It's okay to correct each other. I'm expecting you, okay? We've got to know the language and we've got to get comfortable with it. Okay, the next one. Dribble that hand. Okay, so, so far, layup's not open. Post is not open. You don't feel good about driving on this play, right? So what's next? Well, I can pass there. Okay, so pass. Of course, we know he has to cut. So this is where I start introducing layer nine which is he's going to screen for the post. Go ahead. Boom. So we're looking at him for a layup. Yes, go ahead. Him for a layup. Good. Throw back. And I never ask the players to screen for teammates just to be a good guy. You're a good teammate. Okay. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I want you to screen so that you can then shape up and get the ball which is one of two things. You either then duck in here, sink me in first, sink me in first, yeah, right? Or, go back, or, when the cutter goes off, you shape up out there, you step out, now I'm gonna step out, step away from me, step, yeah, mm -hmm. face up. I don't care, mid-range, three or whatever, but you face me up. So it's one or the other after he comes off the screen, okay? So your choice who to hit. Is that good, guys? All right, go. So, coaches, in my notes, if you saw my notes, it's just, it's layer three plus two plus one plus nine. Just because I've got the layers memorized in my, it's three plus two. Three is the dribble at, two is the post up, one is a passing cut, nine is a screen for, screen for covers in the post. Okay? Have you seen this happen? 
do this real life. All right. Do one hand. Come on. Now, do one hand. Come on. Now, throw me. Throw me. Throw me. And cut. And, and, and he misses. This player misses the opportunity for this action over here, right? So that's why I'm drilling this. I want him to be aware. Of course he can go that way. There's a bunch of stuff. You can, you can do anything you want here. You're at the community. Anything you want here, but I just want to drill this into them that look, when you, when you sit this guy down the middle, there's some really good basketball going over here, and I'm expecting it from you two. And I just want him to be aware and not have his eyes all on this side and forget about this. Okay? Great. Go ahead, get some reps. Get some reps. Keep going. This is actually the way of 10. 
it says Amy Carter, anybody in the lane can go scream for anybody. And that includes a post player. So once you're in the lane, you can go take anybody's place and you scream. First, I want them to scream for a post player if they're in there. Okay, now we go so deep by the left, guys. I'll use you this time. Go. Go. See you. I hold up and keep your dribble. Wait. You can have the ball. Keep your dribble. After you scream, I want you to pop out. Right here. Just, just come free throw line. And this guy's going to hit you. Go ahead. Hit him. No. No. Come here. The only reason that he didn't feed you the ball, put the ball back on. No reason he wouldn't feed you in a game is something like this. So when you throw up there, seal me, that's right. Turn around here, put your butt on me, and we're going to go high-low, okay? All right, so I want them to be aware that every, you know, what is, why can't you feed the post? The only reason you couldn't feed the post, mate, is probably the front end. So we're going to go up high and then in low. I want that to be an automatic thing. Go, go. Good. 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 Just a touch pass. Touch pass. Don't go around here. Touch pass. Great, 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 great. I hold up. Good job. Come on up. I'm going to go to the next. I want to get as many as these in as I can. Come on up. Uh, wing, wing top wing. Here, let uh, the top have the wall. I need to, uh, I think you guys are good enough that I can just tell you this, okay? So, we've already done the dribble lap, right? So I'm going to do that again. I want a double dribble lap. Now, the coaches in the last session saw a whole bunch of these on, on film, okay? So you're going to dribble it in. You're going to go, go between your legs. You're going to take a dribble. This way, this guy filling is then going to cut. Don't cut until you see him make one dribble here, okay? So it look, kind of looks like this. You ready? Go. Go. So I'm coming up here defensively, yeah, and there's a momentum change here for me. Because uh, my momentum's coming this way, and he's going to go back this way. All right? Go. Full speed. Here we go. Very good. Very good. Very good. I'm just telling you, the first place that I saw this, you know, who's here? The first place that I saw this, this was uh, this was the best player in the house, and there was eight seconds to go, and the ball handler came down. He dribbled at this guy. This is the best player. He's coming up here, and this guy, oh, Kim, at the best player, catching there's six seconds to go. And of course, he went over the rebound, this guy cuts, dunks it, and they win. Well, I asked that point player, I said, you know, that first dribble at the guy wasn't even close to being open. And his, what he told me was, he said, Coach, that's the best player in the house over there. If the defender stays inside the rebound, then I can get the ball to my best player at the top of the key. Six seconds to go. That's what we want anyway. He's got the whole, this is where most great players want the ball when the game's on the line, right? And he said, of course. If they go over the rebound, it's even better. Now it's five on four with our best player. And so I wrote that down, and I credited him three times, and then I called it my own. It's called a double dribble that dribble. Yeah? That's how you do it. That's the coaching rule, right? Three times, it's, it's his, after that it's mine. Just kidding. All right, um, natural pitch, stay here. You're gonna defend, you guys mimic. Come here, I want you to defend. You're defending him, I want you to kind of play in the gap. Kind of in the gap right here. Because I want you to pretend to beat someone here. You've got to break the arc. I want you to go right down the pipe there, okay? I want you to help. I want you to legitimately stop him. Get over and stop him because you're going to the corner. You're going to make your natural pitch. This is layer four. 
You're going to stop here and you're going to recover. You're going to fly out there. I want you to catch and shoot, okay? Aren't you ready? Go. Yeah. Good. Keep going now. We're going to take this. Let me talk to you. Keep going. Go. I don't want to bounce past. It's too slow. Inside the out is in the air. If we're inside, going toward the go, I like to bounce past it. To the perimeter, I like it to be in the air. Okay, so this is the basic, the most basic natural pitch drill from layer four. Everybody in the house knows it, even if you don't know where you're reacting to it, right? Okay, all right. So my next step with this, my next step with this is to catch, I walk through this, go ahead. Go ahead. Drive, kick it, fly here. I want you to come to the post. Because usually, if he stopped, you know, he stopped like here and he kicks it, he's like one step, even if you're not intending to post up, you're in this area. I want you to catch on this hard closeout, I want you to show a little ball, I want you to drive baseline. And you've got to go along with this, okay? Be a good actor, okay? When you drive, you're sliding up and we're going to hit you. No, right to the elbow, right there. This is layer five, okay? So uh, I want to get layer four and layer five together just like it would in the game. You're not going to catch and shoot those all the time. You're going to catch and drive the close out, and we need whoever's in the lane sliding up, getting out of your way, and getting into a place where we know you'll be in case to hit Is that good? Go.